Okay, the next two cases uh, are from the same applicant affecting the same property. Um, the first one is a rezoning request, um, and if that one is approved, then it becomes eligible for the second item, which is a plan development request. Um, these have very different uh, issues and discussion involved, and it would be good to uh, conduct them one at a time, certainly. Uh, the rezoning request is by the applicant, who's a McAllister Development Company. This is 12 parcels totaling about 3.77 acres of land. They're requesting to rezone from single family residential R6 to community commercial, which is CC. The property is located at the southeast corner of West Berkeley Drive and North Oak Street. Um, this is directly across the street from the BSU campus, which is to the north. Also, some BSU properties to the east and the Sunset Hill Cemetery to the west. Um, as you can see on the map of the packet, um, it is almost that entire block. Um, the two little parcels on the northeast corner, those are currently owned by BSU um, in the name of the State Board of Regents. Um, the applicant is proposing a mixed-use development, both residential and commercial. That is the subject of the next agenda item. Um, but two, as a stepping stone to get to that point, they're requesting community commercial zoning for this entire block. Um, in reviewing just the zoning change, like we talked in the work session, um, you have residential zoning to the north, which is the BSU campus but they are exempt from zoning regulations. Um, but their use is certainly not residential. It's far more intensive than that. The commercial block to their east um, is all commercial zoning, but they own most of that block. And then, of course, the Sunset Hills and uh, Hill Cemetery to the west. Uh, this is a fairly isolated area in terms of both its size. It is surrounded by non-residential uses on three sides. Um, Single-family residential development is no longer seems appropriate here in that zoning no longer seems as appropriate here as perhaps many years ago. Um, there's an identified need for some additional commercial zoning and proximity to the BSU campus. It seems to be a very logical location for that. Um, so with all those factors in mind and all these things listed here in your packet, uh, both staff and the Planning Commission are recommending approval. The Planning Commission found this consistent with our conference of plan and our standards for exercise of zoning power at their last meeting, and they are recommending approval of the zoning change. Any questions, Council? What was the vote from the Planning Commission for approval? Planning Commission, it was a unanimous vote, um, eight to zero. Did anyone come forward to speak against the request? No, ma'am. There was no um, participation from members of the public for or against. There was a lot of people in attendance. Uh, we've had no contact with our office expressing opposition. Um, in your packet, there's uh, I put before you uh, this evening is a letter of support that really addresses the plan development issue, which is your next item. Uh, but no one came to speak. Uh, we did have two inquiries, uh, mainly about the plan development, uh, and they did not offer an opinion one way or the other. They were simply curious as to what was being proposed. Uh, 
the retail and residential. Uh, you gotta go through the rezoning step first, then we'll deal with the plan development application. Uh, the Planning Commission unanimously approved the rezoning. Uh, the future development map and the comprehensive plan allow for CC zoning in this area. This location and where it is, and Mr. Martin touched on this, uh, is a, a perfect location, I believe, for, for this type of development. We've got the cemetery to the west, uh, college property to the north, college property and commercial development uh, to the east. And to the south, uh, you do have single family residences. Uh, most of those at this point have transitioned into rental residences, uh, so there are not, not many owner occupied residences. Um, I'm happy to answer any questions you have about the rezoning portion now. We just do ask that you follow staff recommendation and planning commission recommendation and rezone this property to see silver. Any questions about the rezoning? Mr. Nigel, should council choose to approve your request, are you, is it your understanding that this will not be that it's a done deal, but rather that we will be clearing the path for you to continue on the process to try and bring this development to the community? In other words, you have other entities to go before. Is that your understanding? We do, and that's a good, a good point to raise. And it's not an issue before the council today, but there is a historical planning uh, commission application that will need to be filed. We are in the historic district and uh, have to you know, go before the HBC to, to address those issues as well with the houses that are there. Um, the applicant intends on getting that application in about the 15th of this month, which is the deadline, the 16th. Monday, so the 15th of Sunday. Uh, I believe the HBC meeting is November 5th, so those issues will be addressed at that time. Okay. Thank you. Is there anyone else in the audience who would like to speak in favor of this request? Is there anyone in the audience who would like to speak in opposition to this request? Anyone who would like to speak in opposition? This is strictly for the rezoning of the property. All right, seeing so none, Council, I'll turn it over to you for that. Mr. Mayor, I make the motion we approve the request as presented. Second. Motion and second. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all in favor, please signify by raising your right hand. All opposed, there is no opposition. 